Hi, I'm Dean Groovy from Knife Tech NZ, and thanks for buying our filleting DVD. This is a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to fillet, skin and bone, and other techniques used to prepare a selection of fish species. This is a good sized rig. The rig's been trunked, which means it's been headed and had the guts and the belly flaps taken out for commercial sale. If the belly flaps were too, too much belly flap, we can actually just trim those off to what, we, what the preference is. We have the bottom fin that's still on, so we want to just put that knife just under it, the back of the knife, and just take that out. When we turn it over, it's also had the fins taken off the top, but it has a gristle under that. So what we need to do is just take that gristle out. And on this part here, we've got another piece of gristle as well. I'm sure it is edible, but it's probably not the best. With the filleting it, we just need to make sure that because the shark has, when we're skinning it, it has like a centre line. And if we end up cutting either side of that centre line, we will end up leaving skin on the fillet, which we'll need to trim off later. So what we, what we do to, to combat that is we just want to hold the fish slightly forward so it keeps it straight. So when we actually make our cut, we want to cut in here. The bone along here has no rib cage, so it's a cartilage. So we only have a singular bone to worry about. So when we make our cut in, we just put our knife in on the top and slightly angle it down. And that's so we, we end up cutting towards the bone. We've also got our knife out on a slight angle like this. When we make a cut in, it's to give us enough cut into the fish that we can then just put the palm of our hand on the top and just make sure the fish stays where we want it to. By moving your hand to where your knife is, then you're not trying to cut and stretch the fish and, and it keeps the full control of where you want it to be. On the second side, you've also got a similar thing, but what we're attempting to do is the opposite to the top. So instead of your knife angling down and cutting along like that, it's going to go quite the opposite. So by putting a knife in, once again it's on an angle, blades pointing up and the back of the knife putting the pressure on the fillet that'll stop that from losing that recovery. We're going to come in far enough once again so we can use the palm of our hand to slide along and we slide along that. Because shark is like sandpaper on the skin it generally sits and stays in position and then we have the frame of the fish. For skinning this, the skin wraps up on this side of the fillet, so we're just going to score the skin so it rolls over and sits flat. Anything that sits under the fillet will end up as a spot in the skin. So we're going to come back here and what we're going to do is we want to hold the knife flat, slightly raised. and We want to make a cut in that gives us some skin to hang on to. We move back to the back part of our knife, so that's going to give us the ability of control, and with a fillet near the edge of the board, that'll allow us to get the flow right, right through. So we want to go forward like that, and then if we run out of arm's length, then we go to a push. So we go through like that, and then a push if we need to. the bone at the top, just get your knife under that, take that out. Any gristle that we have here from the fins, we put the knife on a tight angle and we just cut that portion. Same on this side, any skin, just, we're only taking out the skin. Second fillet, same principle, put our knife in, get ourselves a, a handhold with a skin, bring it to the edge of the board, 
get a good firm grip on the skin and we're going to push away and then as we get to the end of the fish we need to keep that momentum going. Turn it over, take out the bone, any gristle here, take that off, same there. I'd love to get your feedback and photos on the success of your next prepared catch. If you'd like to see anything on the up and coming DVDs, please let me know. You can get our details off the screen now or from the back of the DVD case.